But honestly guys, that was the quickest check-in I've ever done. Good morning guys, good morning. Today is July 27th, Saturday, and it is currently 5.40 a.m. and it is time to fly back to Antigua for school. I am so tired. I don't know if you guys can tell, I look very exhausted. I only slept for maybe two hours because I was busy packing my suitcase. I honestly didn't finish packing my carry-on until 11. Then I ate dinner, then I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. and I had to also wash my makeup brushes too because I couldn't leave them like dirty for like the next five months. So I spent the night washing them, then I I took a nice long shower and then I just went to bed. I am exhausted. Like I literally cannot wait to sleep on that plane. So it is 541. Let's go ahead and make our way to the airport. Also, I'll be flying business as well. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Also, you can definitely tell from my skin I have been breaking out because of the lack of sleep and the amount that I've been stressing. So at least I'll be back on the island a little bit more calmer and I'll be able to like study, be back in my zone and we're just gonna go ahead and get the semester started also i wanted to quickly show you guys my airport outfit so this is a guest scuba tracksuit it looks so comfy it actually is very comfortable however i just realized this doesn't have pockets which kind of sucks but i like it because it looks so cute and then this top is from dynamite but it all just goes together so well so yeah look at the beautiful sunrise business class check-in which is actually really cool it's literally empty here and it's six o'clock so we made it to the airport on time But apparently there is a lounge that is closer to my gate, about a 10 minute walk. So that way when it's time for me to board, I'm not frantically running to my gate. So we're gonna go and see if we can find this lounge. But honestly guys, that was the quickest check-in I've ever done. So I did have some issues at the front desk because I didn't have a return ticket. So apparently you need a return ticket in order for them to check you in, which has never happened to me because I didn't plan to book my ticket until a few months afterwards once I got like a really good deal. Thankfully I had my student visa on my passport so they put my visa in and I was able to check in. And because I had Nexus, I just skipped the entire line like there was no one at the Nexus check-in. So it was like so quick and easy. So I'm like, thankfully, I got my Nexus. Honestly, if you guys are a frequent flyer or you're studying abroad, I highly recommend getting the Nexus. It literally saves you so much time. the Maple Leaf Lounge because it was closer and I wasn't sure where to go for the Plaza Lounge 
I'm probably gonna go there next after. I'm probably gonna spend an hour here, then go to the Plaza Lounge, and then go to my gate around 8 because boarding's at 8.30. But there's some pretty good food here. This is my first time in the Maple Leaf Lounge. This is pretty exciting. For the Plaza Lounge, I can use my Amex card to get free access, which is cool because I've never been there, so I'm gonna go there next after. And then I also got a latte because I really need the coffee because I am so tired with only two hours of sleep and I literally look like death. And even though I had some issues like checking in and everything, overall, like, it's been pretty quick and easy. It is close to 7.30. I am so exhausted. My eyes are literally burning. Probably because I had my contacts on all day yesterday and I only slept for like two hours. Because I'm so tired, I don't think I'm gonna go to the plaza lounge because I only have half an hour left and I really don't wanna walk and look for it. I'm just like really tired, so I'll probably go to the plaza lounge next time, which will be probably in January. But yeah, I'm just like so exhausted. I don't think I can make it all the way over there. And plus like, I'm already sitting down here and I might as well just stay here because I think like when you go to the plaza lounge, they like seat you and then you can order the food and everything because I already had breakfast here. The food was okay. It was mediocre. The scrambled eggs were kind of disappointing. The potatoes tasted really good. The waffle was okay. The yogurt was okay. I want to say I give the food like a five out of 10, to be honest. But the latte was really good. I think the food in the plaza lounge is gonna be so much more better. That's definitely on my list for next time. But because it is 7.30 currently, we board at 8.30. So I'm probably gonna leave here at eight to get there early and look for my gauge, which is like right down there. It's not too far. Yeah, then we'll start boarding our flight because we won't get to Antigua until two o'clock. I'm also going there really early too, two weeks early, just so I can study because med four is gonna be a lot. And plus we have a lot of simulations happening as well. So it's gonna be quite hectic because a lot of people said they didn't get any sleep this semester i'm like wow that's perfect because literally i haven't gotten sleep all summer with working two jobs like seven days a week content creating and studying it's gonna be one hectic semester i'm really excited i say that wholeheartedly because i'm actually really excited just to get my four done with just take my comp and my stuff also decided to get some fruits as well Hey guys, so it's almost 8 o'clock. Now it is time to go find my gate because I'm getting really anxious about my flight. It's getting so close, I'm gonna go and sit by my gate because I'm getting too nervous. Okay, I see my flight.
finally made it to Antigua! Now it's just waiting for our luggage. And now it's just waiting for the luggage to arrive. It's also very hot. I don't know why I do this all the time where I wear a tracksuit to Antigua. Literally been waiting for almost an hour for our bags to get off the plane. I've never waited this long at the airport for my luggage. But all the other international flights got delayed, so they all came at the exact same time. So that's probably what delayed all the luggages from getting off the plane. But it's almost 3 o'clock and we landed here at 2. So I'm like, I just want my luggage to go home, drink some water, and eat. Okay guys, got all my luggage. Okay guys, so I got all my luggage. I'm currently just waiting on my driver who's dropping off my car as well. So he's going to help me take the luggages up to my apartment. It is also really, really hot. Thankfully, I got all my luggages. Now it's just waiting to go to my apartment for the EC. just like that we are back at the apartment also it is really hot and i can smell the ocean from here it's reeks of seaweed it is very strong it's probably because it's so humid and hot but we made it i still can't believe i'm back here like it feels so surreal like it doesn't feel real you know like literally this morning i was in toronto and now i'm back here again for my fourth semester we're almost done that's what the guy at the airport said when i was going through customs he was like what semester are you in i'm like four he's like you're almost done you got this I'm like yes i need that motivation because we're gonna get through this okay guys so we are back in my apartment it is 3 49 honestly i kind of expected to come here an hour earlier but our luggage got delayed because all the flights decided to come at the same time so thankfully i got all of my luggages and it is so hot i had to put my hair up because i was like sweating and plus there was an issue with my ac it wouldn't turn on so thankfully the landlord he's amazing bless his soul he literally came over right away and turned on the ac because i'm like i literally walked in the door i'm like dying so everything's all good yeah coming back here two weeks early you can kind of say i have ptsd because this is my fourth semester and i actually got dismissed in my fourth semester back at anyway you can kind of say like i have a lot of anxiety writing on this semester so i really want to do well i want to study i want to focus because as you guys saw in my vlogs i was working seven days a week six to seven days a week, two jobs, content creating, all that kind of stuff. I was running about here and there, trying to study here and there with like flashcards, doing bricks and stuff. But again, it's kind of hard. And my sole purpose is in medical school, I have to focus on medicine, studying, getting the content down and stuff. All of those were part-time jobs to make some money on the side to help aid with like grocery shopping, the rent, stuff like that. But my sole focus is medical school. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that's why I came two weeks early to focus, get back in the rhythm, start waking up at 5 a.m. I'm gonna start being a 5 a.m. girly. So we're gonna get all of that done with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and unpack all of my suitcases and take off this tracksuit because i am dying and just stand in front of the ac for the next 10 minutes so i hope you guys did enjoy that vlog on me coming back to antigua i'm really excited to get the semester done so as always if you guys love watching my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys